Good evening. Peter Holland with ABC News. After repeated breaches of ALP policy, rebel Labour backbencher Graham Campbell is set to lose pre-selection for the seat of Kalgoorlie. The last straw was Mr Campbell's weekend declaration that Labour's immigration policy and commitment to multiculturalism were stupid. Paul Keating is recommending that the ALP National Executive withdraw the Maverick MP's endorsement, a move set to be formalised on Friday. Suspended from caucus twice, disciplined by the ALP machine more than once, now on the verge of losing pre-selection, an unrepentant Graham Campbell was giving himself a big send-off today. I can see the headlines now. Campbell sacked for telling the truth. Carmel Lawrence gets the bills paid for telling lies. A lot of what Graham would uh, purport to stand for isn't consistent with the Labor Party policy. Mr Campbell has always liked to see himself as doing it his way, addressing the extremist League of Rights, for instance, and declaring Paul Keating's best electoral contribution would be a state funeral. The straw which broke the camel's back was the Maverick MP's attack on non-discriminatory immigration in a weekend address to Australians against further immigration. Uh, uh, immigration is an idea whose time has passed. The comments that Graham made on Friday relating to the party's immigration policy were an affront to the ALP. Beyond the pale, according to the Prime Minister too, and he told Mr Campbell so this morning. What were Mr Keating's words? I've got to tell you, mate, your time's up. And on Friday, Labor's National Executive will make it formal, withdrawing Mr Campbell's endorsement for the sprawling seat of Kalgoorlie, which he holds with a majority of 10%. John Howard thinks he knows what it means. I have no doubt that uh, uh, if, if Mr Campbell runs as an independent in that seat, he'll win it. Only if John Howard directs coalition preferences to Graham Campbell, retorts ALP National Secretary Gary Gray. But Mr Gray does admit the anti-Campbell move could hand Kalgoorlie to the Liberals. Mr Campbell himself is keeping his options open, but he does acknowledge the task may be beyond him. Running as an independent requires an enormous amount of infrastructure. I don't know whether I could organise that infrastructure. Whatever, it's another headache Paul Keating could do without. In Graham Campbell's sprawling electorate, the news was only just filtering through today. Um, I have reaffirmed our support to Gary Gray, but we may meet as a branch after today. I'll just mm. wait and see. But I think a general feeling would be a uh, surprise. At his campaign headquarters, his wife was fielding calls from supporters. It's not only from the electorate, but we've had calls from all over Western Australia. And I think the party probably has made a big mistake. In Perth, criticism of the move was being led by long-time Campbell ally Julian Grill. He says it's jeopardised Labor's chances of holding the seat, describing the disendorsement as a stupid eastern states plot. It's been hatched in Victoria and Canberra. It has very little to do with Western Australia at all. Who are much closer, people here are much closer to the realities, and it will backfire on them. There was also disappointment from other state MPs whose electorates overlap Mr Campbell's. It's, it's an extremely sad day for Graham Campbell, for the people in the seat of Kalgoorlie and for the Labor Party. I'm sure that the reaction uh, in the electorate um, will uh, not be positive. But the moves against the outspoken politician were welcomed by some. I've thought this for a long, long time. I'm not alone. There's no room for those kinds of views in the Labor Party. But there was concern about Labor's chances in the seat if Mr Campbell runs as an independent. Julian Grill says his counterpart may be looking at other options. Well, he may well stand in the Senate and I think that's the more likely option. If the ALP's national executive does oust Mr Campbell, the party will call for nominations. Despite claims by some, the candidate has already been picked.